Okay, step four, solve the remaining edge pieces. So there's a total of 12 edge pieces on the cube, and we've done seven of them, so that leaves five to solve. This uh, step four should really be broken down into two parts. There's, there's sort of two phases to it. The first part is to solve these three right here. So that's the three that are kind of on the opposite side from the... Um, the unsolved edge piece right here. And then the second phase is to solve the remaining two if necessary. Um, to start out uh, doing the first three here, you can usually kind of trivially solve one. For example, in this case, I've got the yellow green piece right there. It needs to go right there, so it doesn't get much easier than that. The next one I'll solve here is this yellow-blue, so that needs to go there. The concept basically is you'll be doing either this move here or this move here in order to get this edge piece onto the U-face. So you simply need to pick the right one in order to put the yellow, the, the, the uh, U-color, on the U-face after doing that move. So in this case it would be this. Now, all we have to do is rotate the U-face so that the position that we want to place the cube in is lined up correctly. So in this case, I want that to go there. So I just move over here and then line it up like that. Now, I'm not quite done. I need to fix, up, fix the cube up. So what I'll do is just turn this again and then that way, I can move one of the other um, edge pieces from the U face into that working spot. So I'll be working with this yellow-red piece next. And, of course, I need to fix up the U face. So that's, I've got the, uh, I had the yellow-green one done before, and I just did the yellow-blue one. So the next one to do is this yellow-red. That goes over here. So again, I want to move like this to get that up to the top layer. I want to move it into this spot, so I'll just move the U-face to line it up. And then like that. And then <clears throat> slide one of the, um, the uh, edge pieces that I'm not trying to solve in this uh, position here so that when I fix up the cube I'm not uh, undoing the work that I've already done. So that's the first um, of the two parts complete. Now this next part here is really where the only memorization I think uh, occurs for this, uh, for this solution. Simply look up uh, in the, the bullet points there on step four. I have to figure out which of the uh, situations I have. Now it looks to me that both of these edge pieces here and here, they're both in the right place, but they're oriented incorrectly. So that would be the second bullet point. And so I just do the move as it says. For this move, I've been a bit casual with how I've been holding the cube, and I haven't been using the notation all that frequently. This is one situation where you'll really have to pay attention to that. Of course, any time that you're actually using the notation is an important time, but for a lot of the other moves, they're um, a little more intuitive, so there's not really um, a, a, the notation or, the, uh, or a direction to particularly worry about. So, I hold the uh, edge piece here, the working edge piece, in the R uh, B location, or B R. It's the same thing, and I simply do the move there. So B U prime B prime U R prime U R and U prime. So that solves those last two edge pieces there. So now we can see that all of the 12 edge pieces on the cube are solved. There are five corners left. 
sometimes after doing this stage sometimes the corners will be solved by chance um, so that will simply save you a little bit of time later on in the cube okay that's it for step four